Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tools for Recovery That Works. On today's episode, we're going to review a popular, simple, and highly effective smart recovery tool called Exchange Vocabulary, which is derived from our ABC tool, which we covered in a previous Tips and Tools episode. We can all agree that words are powerful. They can do great good, inspire millions, even change the course of history. But some words can also do great harm, particularly words we call absolutes, like must, can't, always, and never, for instance. The use of absolutes can often fuel negative emotions when you're dealing with tough situations. Here's how that works. Now, take the thought, I have to quit using. Check in with yourself for your emotional reaction to this thought. Does this thought leave you feeling upbeat, empowered to make a positive lifestyle change? Or does this thought leave you feeling down, like you're being forced to give up something against your will? But Look what happens if you exchange have to for choose to, as in, I choose to quit using. Check in with yourself again. Try on that new thought. How do you feel when you think, I choose to, compared to how you felt when you think, I have to? More empowered, right? Another way of looking at it is demand thinking versus preference thinking. Demands are either or, black or white, while preferences are more fluid. Demand thinking can lead to cognitive distortions, which can lead to negative emotions. And negative emotions can easily lead to poor decision making that can imperil your recovery. So the exchange vocabulary tool is a simple way to look carefully at the words we say or think, and then exchange those that lead to negative emotions for less demanding, more accurate ones. Take the word must, as in, I must be successful. I must make a good impression. The word must is absolute, a demand, implying that there is no alternative. Failure is absolutely unacceptable and cannot be overcome. But when we really think about it, we realize that there are many things that we strongly prefer to happen, but there are very few things in our lives that absolutely must happen. When we catch ourselves thinking must, we can make the exchange to more realistic terms like really want to, or prefer to, or choose to. The simple switch in words allows us to avoid being boxed in by either ors or demands. It allows us to become more flexible in our thinking. Exchange vocabulary can also be used for reducing our negative emotional responses to other types of words. For example, awful can be switched to undesirable or not great. Unbearable becomes unpleasant. Really anxious can be exchanged for feeling concerned. Ashamed can be exchanged for disappointed. It's a great idea to write out your harmful statements or thoughts along with your new, more helpful exchange thoughts. Revisit your list from time to time as a way to remind yourself of something that is fundamental to successful recovery, and it's this. You have the absolute power to lessen your negative emotional responses to the difficulties and challenges you face in life simply by changing the way you think about them. Hey, I hope the Exchange Vocabulary tool really helps. Many smart recovery facilitators and participants say they use it frequently and with great results. Check your handbook or our online tools for more examples of how exchange vocabulary can be helpful in your recovery. As always, thank you for joining us and see you soon on Smart Recovery's YouTube series, Tips and Tools for Recovery That Works.